Five years of data engineering in just five minutes. Let's get started. So in my initial day, I used to work on multiple types of projects. One of the most common projects that I got a chance to work on was data migration. In the earlier days, a lot of companies wanted to move from on-premise network to the cloud platform. So in the case of data migration, you might be going from MS SQL to Postgres SQL, or you might be going from Oracle DB to MySQL. This is called as a heterogeneous migration. In this, you move from one database to some other databases. There are two parts of data migration. One is migrating the schemas, objects, triggers, and all of the other things around the data. And second is migrating the actual data that is stored inside the table. Now, the tools that I use for this is AWS Data Migration Service that can easily help you to replicate your data from one source to other source. So you might migrate your data from PostgreSQL to PostgreSQL or you might go from like MySQL to PostgreSQL as per the requirement. And there is a tool available on AWS that is called as schema conversion tool. Okay, if you want to convert the schema from one source of the data to the another source, you can easily do that using schema conversion tool. There are other methods also what you can do, you can take the backup of the data and then restore it back to the other server if you are going from Postgres to Postgres or MySQL to MySQL. So a lot of strategies, but these were the initial projects that I worked on mainly around data migration. Other than this, I worked on a lot of ETL projects where client wanted to write some transformation logic as per the business requirement you can see this architecture as you can see we have a data coming from on-premise that we get using aws direct connect it is a dedicated service for data transfer and other sources are just apis we get all of these raw data from these sources and load it onto the s3 bucket after that we write the glue script for the transformation we use the apache spark to transform the data use lambda function for some kind of event triggers and load that data back onto the s3 we can use glue crawler to crawl the files that are stored onto the s3 bucket to extract the schema out of it and then we can write sql queries on amazon athena to understand what type of data that we have the similar types of projects i also worked on google cloud platform but here the services are different as you can see we get the data from the source we load it onto the cloud storage which is same as the s3 bucket we process it using the data proc if it is a batch data or we use the data flow if it is a stream data we load the data onto the BigQuery for analytics and then build a dashboard onto the Looker Studio. These were some of the common types of projects that I worked on my initial career when I was doing internship and a job. After that, I went into the freelancing and in freelancing, I got to work on the multiple types of projects. Like I was working on random projects. I worked on building a real-time streaming platform for Bitcoin transaction. I did some web scraping. I also built like a lot of ETL and data architecture from scratch. So one of the initial projects that I got was around web scraping. This is not the core data engineering project, but in this project, what I had to do, client had HTML files stored onto the cloud storage. I had to write a Python script to extract data from this HTML storage and load this data back onto the PostgreSQL. There were more than millions of HTML files. So I had to figure out the efficient way of processing all of this data in bulk and then load this onto the PostgreSQL. After this, I started working on the multiple types of projects. One of the projects was around Bitcoin transactions. So client had data coming from a Bitcoin in real time manner and those data were getting inserted onto the Google Cloud PubSub. What I had to do, I had to read all of these data process and transform as per the requirement and load all of this real time data onto the BigQuery so that client can analyze and understand what is going on. And like this, there were multiple ETL projects and data architecture projects that I worked in my freelance career. While I was doing this, I got a job or a contract based work at a Wayfair furniture company. I worked at Wayfair for around three years and I worked on multiple types of projects here also. So here the first step was to migrate the data from MySQL to the BigQuery and the databases that they had, the Cloud SQL on the Google Cloud Storage. So as per the requirement, we migrated the relational databases and also the data warehouse data onto the BigQuery. This was the first step. Also, we had to build a complete data pipeline as the data was coming from multiple sources like mobile app, web app, SQL server. We use Kafka to handle the stream data, ingest the data onto the cloud storage and use data proc for data processing and loading the data onto the BigQuery for analytics. With that, we also migrated the Tableau dashboard that they had on on-premise network to the Glucose Studio dashboard onto the BigQuery. Everything that they had on the on-premise network, we were trying to migrate that onto the Google Cloud platform. So I got a chance to build a data model from scratch that took efforts to understand hundreds of tables, thousands of columns and write airflow script transformation and build a final data warehouse on the BigQuery. Data size was huge. We had to process millions and billions of rows daily so that business people can take the right decision. Major tools we use on GCP was around data proc, Cloud Storage, BigQuery, Looker Studio. Other than that, we use Apache Airflow, Apache Spark for data processing and Apache Kafka for real-time data ingestion. On top of this, I started building my YouTube channel and I 
published around seven to eight data engineering projects on AWS GCP Azure on this channel. That way I also learned something new and I taught you guys some of the most important skill set you need to know as a data engineer. Here is the every tech stack that I use in my five years. You can see the all of the programming language databases that I worked on, cloud platforms that I worked on and the services, uh, some of the workflow scheduling tools, file format, dashboarding. Python packages, messaging queues, and the different types of projects that I've worked on. That's everything, five years of data engineering in just five minutes. If you're interested in starting your career in data engineering, then you can check out my courses. You'll find all of the details below. Thank you for watching. I'll